Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build post patterns with the Frost WordPress theme. Frost comes with a default stacked uh, view of posts, and there are some additional patterns you could use for your archive pages. For instance, a grid view or a list view. And these are the two that we're gonna to get to today. Here we go. Okay, so we are here on the Frost website. We are on the articles archive page. Uh, you can see as I scroll through here, there's several blog posts that we've got here. This is the traditional layout for uh, the query loop in this theme and in most themes, you just kind of have that stacked uh, post one on top of the other. Now I'm gonna go into the back end of uh, WordPress. We're gonna go to the site editor and click on the pattern screen, which brings us to here, you can see uh, these are the three posts patterns that come with Frost. You've got a grid view, you've got a list view, uh, and this is the default sort of stacked view, just the list of posts in one column. And so uh, I'm gonna go show real quickly uh, what it looks like to edit the uh, archive template. So I'm gonna click on templates, I'm gonna click on all archives, and you can see this is the default list view uh, of the posts that come with Frost. Now, a little fact uh, that you might find interesting here, if you select the query loop, uh, the site editor has this replace functionality, which allows you to replace that query loop with either uh, of the other two patterns that we have there. And so I'm just gonna show you real quick, uh, and then we'll go and learn how to build them. Uh, I'm gonna select the grid view. And that, what it does is it replaces the query loop uh, in this particular template, the archive template, with the one that you've selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then I'm gonna refresh the article's archive page and you can see, oops. You can see now you've got the, the grid. And then I will, sim similarly, we'll replace it with this list view. It's kind of a unique way of displaying posts. I uh, will hit save and then we'll refresh our screen here. And you can see this is the list view uh, query loop. This is the grid view query loop. And then in this first tab is just the basic default one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe out uh, the changes we just made so that we can go through and uh, show you how exactly to build these. So I'm gonna just clear out the customizations. Uh, and now I'm gonna go edit the archive template. So we're gonna go through and I'll show you how we're gonna go from this to the grid view. We'll start with the grid view first. So I'm gonna open up uh, my list here and then, uh, so I've got the query loop here. You can see it's by default, it uses the, the content width, which Frost has 640 pixels. Uh, I'm gonna select this and go wide width. Uh, and then I'm gonna remove the content width limitation. And so what this does is it allows the building of the uh, query loop to go the 1200 pixels wide, which is in grid view what we're looking for. Now, uh, inside of the query loop, if you select on post template, you can uh, use a setting here, which allows you to uh, place this into grid view. Uh, you can have as many, I think up to six, down to two, if you just kind of wanted to do sort of for like a, a two by two or something like that. Uh, but we're gonna go with uh, three columns because that's what we've got. So I'm gonna hit save. And what I'm gonna do is be uh, refresh the screen here to kind of show our progress. We've taken uh, the default loop and we've stretched it wide, 1200 pixels wide, and then we converted it into a three column grid. So as you can see, I'll go back and forth so we can see uh, we're getting there. Now notice here you have the featured image. Uh, so we wanna go in and place that. So if you open up the post template, uh, this controls uh, what's inside of each post. And so I can uh, select this button, I can type in post featured image, uh, and by default it just sticks it at the bottom. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll move it up. Uh, and as you build out the single post uh, template, it applies it to everything inside of the group or inside of the, the whole query. So you can see it kind of affecting all of them at once. Uh, and so uh, I'm gonna also reduce the size of the font because this is a little bit smaller. When you use a grid view, uh, you may wanna alter the font. So you select the title, come over here. And uh, I think the default is larger than 24, but 24 looks good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we will refresh our screen. Uh, we're almost already there. Uh, so you can see here uh, in between the date and the excerpt, uh, we've got a little bit of extra space. 
And so what you could do is uh, you can go to the excerpt. Uh, we can tweak the margin, maybe top margin. We want to have um, more spacing, less spacing uh, if we want. Uh, maybe even inside of here, we may want to alter the spacing in the, the block uh, spacing. Right now it's 10 pixels for some reason. If you wanted a little bit more spacing uh, there, we could select 20 and that'll add a little bit more spacing. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit save and we can just see how things are looking. Uh, we've already got that. Now another uh, feature is the read more link. I think by default it types in read more, but if for some reason you wanted to do something like that, you could change the text of it. So we'll hit save and this is where we're going for. Uh, and this is what we got now. Notice right here, there's spacing in between these. Uh, this might work for you if you wanted a little bit tighter spacing. Uh, you can go into the post template, and I believe it's the block spacing setting here, which now set to zero. I think by default it goes to 60. Um, so maybe we'll just split the difference and use uh, 30 pixels. We'll hit save. Oh, that one's got 40. Well, we go. We'll use the and we'll refresh and there we go. Now you can also see the uh, post image. Uh, you have the ability to specify uh, the size of that. If you want to use different aspect ratios, for instance, if you wanted to go with a square look, you could use the square look. And uh, we'll see how that looks depending on the layout of how you want the blog. If you wanted to have a little bit more striking with the uh, bigger sizes, you can by default, this aspect ratio um, can even do different ratios here. So this is an exciting, an exciting look if we wanted to go with something very striking. Uh, and so that is the grid view. Okay, next up, we want to go over how to build this list view. This is a uh, more of a unique layout uh, that we're looking to do. So uh, I'm going to go back into the site editor and I'm going to select the all archives template and we're going to go back to the default view that's here. Uh, and so we're going to take a quick look at the front end again and just see what we're looking to do. So we want to make uh, a three column layout using um, some lines to separate them. Thankfully, WordPress has some blocks that allow us to do this. Uh, and so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into list view. I'm going to pop open this group. I'm going to go inside of the, oops. I'm going to open up the query loop and we've got the post template. Now I'm going to, inside of the query loop, I'm going to scroll down here to the plus button and I'm going to add a columns block, which kind of gives us the columns and similar fashion. Uh, we want to go, we're going to back up to, uh, this and we're going to select wide width, which kind of uh, and turn off that content with this will stretch out the content to the 1200 pixels. Uh, and so, um, some, so we want to do this. We want to go 25, 50 and 25. Uh, and I always like to just, uh, add empty paragraphs inside there. It's easy to just drag things in at that point. Um, so we'll just do that. Okay, so we're looking at the date here in the first column. We've got post title and excerpt here in the middle and then uh, tags here in the right column. So thankfully with the site editor, there's a lot of uh, dragging and dropping that can allow you to do some things. Uh, so I'm going to actually take the date. I'm going to open up this group and kind of see what I've got here. So this row has uh, the post date. Uh, you can either drag post date into that column, or you could just do something like this, which is just um, add the block to it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this empty paragraph. So we've got the post date. Uh, in this middle column, we had post title. Um, so we'll just add the blocks rather than dragging them so we can see how this works. So we've got title. Um, also, we have the post excerpt here. Going to remove this empty paragraph now that we've got it. And down in this column, uh, we're just going to type tags, which allows us to do the tags. Uh, so we've got our three columns here. 
And so I'm gonna now take this whole thing and I'm gonna drag this up here. And then we're gonna take everything else that was here from before and just delete those. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and we can see where things stand. All right, so we're kind of getting there. So you can see obviously some things need to be uh, styled differently. Uh, it looks like the date and the tags have smaller font sizes. So you can go into each block, go over here to the styles uh, and maybe we wanna go 16. Uh, we're gonna also do the same thing here. Uh, this was the empty paragraph. Go ahead and hit save. And we can see things are looking a whole lot better. Now, as I go back and forth, you can see uh, this post title um, has a much a smaller font size. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce that size. And then um, inside of this column, by default, the title and the excerpt inherit the, the themes block app, which is 30 pixels. Uh, but as you can see, there's less space here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is uh, inside of that column, we're going to change the spacing. You can see what happens here. Um, I'm going to select extra small, which is 20 pixels. I will hit save and you can see this, this, uh, this size will also uh, change and the spacing here. There we go. Uh, now, uh, for the title, we want to make sure that because this is an archive page, we want to make this title a link, which then adds the underline. And so um, I'm going to hit save and notice there's uh, some, you can change the spacing in between the columns if you want. Uh, that's easy to do here if you just go to the columns block. Uh, and if you wanted to do the block spacing here, you could add or remove uh, spacing there. I'm going to go ahead and just zero that out because we're not going to do anything special. And another thing we're going to do is uh, we want to go ahead and um, got the post template selected. We want to add a separator. Uh, so I'm going to just select this adds a separator. We're going to go wide line and we want to stick that inside of the post template. Um, what that does is it adds inside every post at the top of the columns. Uh, as I hit save, we can see what this looks like. Uh, this adds the lines that we want. Uh, in the case here, you've got more spacing. And so I'm going to go ahead um, here and uh, add a little bit of top margin to do the, the proper spacing. Go ahead and hit save. Now things are looking uh, pretty good. And you can see here that we just want to have one more line here at the bottom. So I'm going to go uh, inside of post template and just grab a place. Going to add a separator and we're going to pull that outside of uh, the content. You can see there, we're going to put it here at the bottom. Uh, you're going to go to wide line and then we want to also uh, throw a little margin at the bottom of that also to space it out between that and the pagination. So uh, go ahead and hit save and we can see how things look. And there we go. Now we've got uh, a beautiful list view of our posts. And so by default, the uh, the archive templates uh, use that content width of 640. And so if you wanted to align this to the left, uh, that is also possible. Uh, we just want to select the group up here and we just want to do a wide width. Uh, same thing works for the list or the grid view. So uh, what that does is it kind of makes it a better feel. Or if you didn't like the way that looks, uh, you can um, just go back to the way it was and, and maybe just centering the text here is a better uh, design choice. So we'll do a quick refresh and you can see there a uh, very unique way of doing the list view. Uh, in this case, we have a three column layout. So, and there we have it. Again, this is the, the Frost WordPress theme. These were the two additional uh, post categories. Uh, we've got uh, the grid view and the list view that are now part of uh, Frost. Again, at any point in time, if you want to do a replacement of what you've built, you can go in and it automatically detects the, the query patterns uh, and you can choose whichever one you want to replace it with. For instance, if you do that, it just replaces everything inside of that query loop uh, with whatever pattern you choose. So the power of WordPress is obviously 
Uh, once you get to understand how the site editor works and how blocks can get moved around, uh, the query loop is a very powerful block. You can do all kinds of neat things with it. Here's an example that we've shown two alternatives. Uh, and so I uh, look forward to, to building more uh, patterns and design with Frost. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video and have a great day.